Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm reading the Hidden Water Part 4. Here's the story and let's read it. Where we are? Here we are. One night fell and they listened once again. They heard the water flowing underground a little further off and so they dug a second time. But they all closed the rank down above only made the water dizzy. The voices of so many people, animals and birds alarm it and so much hope are Friday. And so it disappears again. The village couldn't go, waiting for something that showed no sign of happening. And so they all went home, saying their thirst had dry and mad. The boy and the steak were so hard disappointing that crying would have been some comfort. But their eyes were so dried up that not a single tear would flow so they consult tablet the only way they could be processing the earth other they could not give up they went over the owl story world by world again and then they snuggled up together closed their eyes and let sleep carry them away and then the first rays the sun crazed the eyeless it found them both with the same dream in their head, a dream of water nippings. Once awoke, they followed the road they had both seen in their dream, a road which is led to the nippings. Kevix, the sun, rose high and moved across the sky, then sank into the west and itself on the day went until first uh, they heard of the music cool as a breeze. It seemed to come from an other world than theirs. It seemed like a heartbeat, light and airy as a cloud and lovely. Then they saw the dancing water nippings, and then the sight was so grateful, inviting that boy and the snake went straight toward them without moment. He stumbled, and then they were the nippets. They came face to face. The music stopped the dancing, stopped the time. Two seemed to stop. Everything seemed caught between two words until the boy stepped forward, and the hopping could give me a message in the language shared by mortals in this little street. He knew it was not to speak. For water nippics will take away your power of speech if you do want and neither did you want to go down on the knees or like a reed bent in the breeze begin to dance with the dance he told them all he never could have said any other way he people who lacked and longer for the witness and the hope of fineness, happiness. Their face of death and they got great thirst for life. And then he begged the water nippics to help him. Then the snake joined the dancing calling and the winding its several several body. It spoke of David owned the body, the story and Owl had to tell them of the hole the village had dug in a main around Frelo water. And they begged Nipix to call upon the water to rise up to suffer the of the earth once so all drink at last and question their thirst. It had been so long ages since Nipix had met the mortal creatures who dare to meet the face to face equal and could make them understand their friends to follow them to where the hidden water lay. When they arrived at the level began to rustle a little with this new breath of wind, a strange coolness dried down upon them. And the first monk of the Nipic said, If you want to see the water dig, just one pause, 
Not many dig will light at story hand, and quietly otherwise the noise with still this ripple will make them run away. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you like the video, smash the like button and subscribe. Bye!